My name's Peter McKay. Uh, I've been a farmer for about 45 years. My name's Lindsay Murray. I'm the manager of Dingo Lane Farms on the Myokum Valley of on the north coast of New South Wales, the far north coast. Just Maynard from Narromine, New South Wales. Our property called Willie Dar is uh, 1,500 hectares on the central west plains, a bit west of Dubbo in New South Wales. Fried Ward, I've got a small property, 140 hectares uh, in the Bona area, which is just north of Albury. A huge lot of change in the in the time that we've been going down this track. Uh, very much a change from my uh, younger life as a as a boy, seeing very bare paddocks and lots of uh, dust in the uh, summer times and lots of bare soil a lot of the time. It was a bare block of land, neglected hill country when I took it on, and we've now transformed it into a, a viable, sustainable beef farm. Right from first bought the place we've always wanted to um, revegetate it. And I wanted to farm in such a way that I could see continuous improvement in the state of the land. 30% of this place now in uh, native vegetation. So we, we set in a few principles. One is that we wanted 15% of the farm to go back to natural vegetation. That whole creek is just solid trees from, from one end of the property right through to the, to the other end. So. Uh, and the creeks are all fenced out. We wanted to, as much as reasonably possible in a modern world, reduce the need for outside inputs, especially of nutrients and other non-renewable outside inputs. And uh, so that's where our diversity work has centred upon. Fencing off 30% uh, of the place, it certainly hasn't decreased our productivity. In fact, it's increased our productivity. I have got 50% more cattle on the property than the people that grazed it uh, on, under the old system. Averaged um, over 10,000 litres a cow, which is, um, it's been a huge increase on what we used to do when we first came here. In a regular farmer's paddock, it's not going to be returned to a national park, but we can have some of the elements that support the natural functioning there and also help production by taking the best of all of those. So it's actually really combining the wonderful uh, array of things that we have there in intelligent ways that make sense for you locally. At my agent's agent, just stop and look and just, you know, take a deep breath and think, well, you know, we've done so much and what else, how can, how else can we improve it? We want to be genuinely clean, green farmers who actually care about our environment because it'll make a big difference to how we sell our products. We're very lucky in this country and we need to appreciate it by looking after what we've got without compromise. I've never looked back since, I've never been happier uh, in my whole life.